Hello everyone. Thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to create a 3D buffer in ArcGIS Pro. So we require point line or polygon shape file. On the base of that, we can able to create a 3D buffer. So like this, I have created, I will uncheck this. Okay. I have these two files. One is a road feature and I'm having this point feature. Okay. So I'm having this shape file. And I'm interested to create a 3D buffer along this line shape file as well as point shape file. So you can able to add your shape file. You can able to add your desired locations. And after that, you need to go to this toolbox. Okay, in the geoprocessing toolbox, there is a 3D analyst tool. In the 3D analyst tool, there is a 3D proximity. And in that, there is a buffer 3D option is there. Okay. So let I will take buffer 3D option. So input feature. So first I will take this line feature. Okay. So this is my road. So let I will add here road. Then output feature means where you want to save this file. Okay. If you want to save in any particular folder, you can click here and you can save. I'm going by default. After that distance, at what distance you want to mark a buffer. So like suppose you want for 500 meters, you select a 500 meters and your file require a projection. So just right click, go to properties and in the source, you can check the special reference. So my file is in UTM zone. So it is a projected one. So whatever the file you are taking like line point polygon, it should have some projection system. So I'm selecting here as a 500 and it is in meter okay and then you want a rounded buffer or straight buffer that you can able to select after that all things are as it is and just click on the run so now you can able to see the buffer is created here ready buffer is generated along this line feature so same way we can follow the same process for the point feature as well so i'm having this point data village name so again go to 3d analysis tool and 3d proximity so 3d buffer here i will take as a village name then output location means where you want to save again the distance i will take like suppose i want for 1000 meter then it is in meter also it is require a projection system so this is also a utm zone and just click on the run. So now we can able to change the color of this. Okay. So I'm having this three different line feature. If you will see here in the road, open attribute table, there are three different roads are there. Okay. So what we can able to do, we can classify these roads. So this is my road buffer. So just right click, go to symbology and I can click here as a graduate color. And now we can able to change the color ramp accordingly. You want, you can able to change. So now you can able to see, we can able to see a 3d buffer along this line feature. So what is the application of this 3d buffer? If you'll click here and if you'll click here, then you will get the information about this. Okay. What is the use of this 3D buffer? So create a three-dimensional buffer around the point or line to produce a spherical or a cylindrical multi-patch feature. Okay. So now you can able to see this way. We can able to generate the output of the tool is a close multi-patch feature, which can be used in a volumetric computations and other 3D set operator tools. Okay. So you can able to read the applications where, where you can able to use this and uh, same way you can able to classify this village buffer as well. Go to symbology and you can able to color this, what are the color you want to provide. Okay. If you have any doubt or any questions regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. 
थैंक यू